Leads Local. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to find leads in Lead Carrot. So this is Lead Carrot, this is your CRM. Um, I'm in deals right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and find some leads. So I click Find Leads, and what I'm able to do is choose a category. So I'm gonna choose gyms, for example. And I'm gonna pick Minneapolis. And before I do that, I'm gonna check my filters. You can decide whether you want emails, any kind of uh, filters for emails, phones, anything, Facebook pixel. If you're looking for something specifically, let's say you, you want a cold email, um, 50 or 100 um, gyms, you, you can go to, you click email and click ones only with emails. So we'll do that. I'll click search. And then it's gonna go ahead and find gyms in Minneapolis that have an email attached to their name. So we're at a, we got 165 there. I'm gonna stop that for now. So as you can see, these are different gyms that you guys can get a hold of. Um, World Martial Arts Center, Octane Fitness. So you, they have their phone number and they have all the information that you would need. So if you wanna just go ahead and go to Instagram really quick, and it'll take you right uh, to their Instagram where you guys could um, follow, message, etc. So that's one way that you guys can keep in touch or reach out. Um, so these are all the leads here, and this is how you would load up your um, load up your pipelines in order to reach out with cold email, um, texting. But that can you know there are some restrictions there. Whether you want to um, just set up one of your appointment setters, or you want to go ahead and uh, get to cold calling yourself. You can just go right down the line, call those numbers, and just move people right through these stages. So let's say I, I clicked, um, I'll go back to find leads quick. Once you do this, you are able to do several things. You can do select all leads, so it'll select all the leads for you. You can push them to a pipeline, which would push them right into your lead in CRM. You can export to a CSV, or you can click custom audience. So uh, Google custom audience, which is, for people who are using Google ads to um, target businesses like those businesses. Um, that's a little more advanced, but people use that, uh, use this information for custom audiences on Google, which is really cool. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and click push these to a pipeline and click this and it, it'll load them right in. Then I'm gonna go back to my deal. So you can see I have 50 here. These are different leads, but what you're able to do is you're able to drag them through if you want. So let's say you call you called me and you got in contact. You'd move them over to the contacted um, or you can move them to a, an appointment. Let's say you didn't. You can go ahead, if they don't want to talk to you, you can click lost and they'll, they'll move right out of your CRM. You won't lose that data. It'll stay in your list data, your people and organizations. It'll stay there just in case you want to follow up later. Um, if you want to delete them, you can certainly delete them, but that will delete them off of your CRM entirely. So um, this is the basics of finding uh, B2B leads on Lead Care, which is awesome. Um, the next tutorial I'm gonna talk about is some of the automations. There are really cool automations inside of Lead Care that are gonna help you um, jumpstart your leads and your, your follow-up. There are plenty of automations and I'll show you how to use those in the next video. So until next time, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Angel Talamantis, thank you.